little good morning, my darlings. Good morning. Just waiting for my Wi-Fi to kick in. Uh, my signal's really bad. People say hi, Hapa Papa. Hey, Hapa. Oh, he rolled. He rolled on the floor. He rolled on the floor like a flying Tapris. And you know your underpants are on backwards, and your jumper is inside out. Can you tell he got himself dressed today, guys? Backward underpants, inside out, drum roll, squishy face. Where's the squishy face? Um, mm. <laughs> oh my goodness. There's my squisher. Look at these crazy eyes. Look at these crazy eyes. So guys, you're online. Yes, Gabriel say good morning. Okay, he's good morning. just crazy cloud face. Good morning. <laughs> right, pop it up. Can you finish your breakfast and we'll go see Nanny? Be a good boy. Yeah, come on then. Good boy. Oh, you're a heavy Me pudding. Up. I want to go up. You want to go up? Higher. Look. Higher? I can even go as high as my arms. Just my arms go that high, nothing else. I can't get higher than that pudding. How about you go up? How about to here? Oh, I don't know about that punk. Okay. Right, can you give mummy a kiss? Have your breakfast? Have your breakfast, good boy. Come on then, because mummy's talking on the phone now. No, 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 no. <laughs> so, <laughs> this little pudding. It's like a tree climber. A little tree climbing monkey. My son is autistic, by the way, guys, if you haven't already discovered or if you haven't already heard. Um, so please excuse him for being a bit of a little crazy cracker, aren't you? Yes, a little crazy cracker. <laughs> crazy ones are always the best. <laughs> I can't get any higher than that pudding. Right, so guys, I really wanted to talk to you about revenge today because it's the subject that I think is very prominent in this day and age, um, especially, you, you know, with all the... Uh, wars and suffering that are going on, I do think it's a very big thing to do with revenge. No, Gabriel, don't do that, Doodles. No. Naughty, don't do that. Come on, let go, please. Good boy. Come on then. He gets carried away, guys. <laughs> no, Gabriel, please give mummy. Oh, that little chicken. That little chicken. So, I'm going to get near my router because it always cuts off. Ow! Gabriel, don't be crazy. Right, guys. I'm now going to speak about revenge. As I say, this is a subject that I think is very important. <laughs> Gabriel, please give mummy a minute, darling. Millie, can you take Gabriel, please, doodles? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Kids, kids are forever. He's had his breakfast. We're ready to go out in a little while. Um, anyway, it happens, Facebook Live. Um, Robert <laughs> says, Gabriel cannot get enough of his mummy. It's very true, but he, he tries to do weird things to delicate parts of the body. As you'll see, he'll probably be coming ahead by me in the chest. No, Gabriel, naughty. Please stop. Gabriel, naughty. Stop. Stop. Listen. You're going to hurt mummy, please. Oh, God. God, guys. Autism. <laughs> um, <laughs> Zahid said, I would never thought revenge to whoever had hurt me because the word revenge hurt me too. That's like being a victim of revenge. Yes, absolutely. I think people that hurt you, if you try to hurt them in return, you are hurting yourself. You are putting yourself in a position where you're allowing that pain to continue. Um, and that can only be a bad thing. Like, you're not going to end a situation by fighting fire with fire. It just won't happen. And I think you have to be that bigger person. You have to walk away and actually say, I'm going to take control of this situation and prevent it from getting any worse. Because everybody has that childish notion inside of them where they want to continue fighting over something. You know, whether it's a car parking space or a man or a war zone, you know, they never want to be the one that backs down and loses. But actually, revenge isn't about losing. Revenge is about saying, this is affecting my quality of life and I want that to end. John says revenge only creates animosity. So very true. Can you hear my son giggling his head off? He's trying to steamroll me, guys, while I'm talking to you. This is when you know, like, you're used to, you're used to crazy kids. When you carry on talking when they're just trying to attack you. <laughs> By the way, I don't want revenge on my son. That is completely not what I'm about, guys. Um, so, yes, have you ever been the victim of revenge? Um, if so, how did it end? How did it make you feel? Do you think that you can ever move on past revenge? Can you then re forgive somebody for seeking revenge on you? And can you be civil? 
So, you know, I, I know lots of people perhaps have been divorced or share children and separate. Maybe your best friends, you fall out about something. Can you ever get past that and be okay again after somebody has tried to deliberately hurt you or upset you? Um, my son is an absolute cream cracker. Look at this. Wrestling my legs as I'm talking to you. Can you tell I'm, I'm a very uh, tormented mother? <laughs> This crazy little biscuit, guys. Trying my best to keep my Wi-Fi running right now as I'm getting jumped on. Um, Corey says, give your baby milk. He's fighting. No, so he's had his breakfast. We're about to go to my mum's, actually, because um, she's recovering from her cancer surgery. Um, so we're going to pop over and see her because it's summer holidays. Um, <laughs> Dobell says, I feel your pain. My son jumps on me. My son never stops. He's got so much energy. This is, this is just how he is. Sandy from Wisconsin. Hi, Sandy. Hope you're well, my darling. Look at this crazy cracker. His jumper's on inside out. His underpants back to front. And he's trying to wrestle me while I'm talking to you, my darlings. Ah! Wrestles! Oh. My daughter is as calm as anything. She's colouring books and being very well behaved. And my son is just trying to knock me a new belly button hole. Ah! <laughs> Knee in the ribs. Thanks, son. Thank you, doodles. Um... Let me just scroll back because there was another comment that I wanted to read. I went by too fast. Jono says, I think life is too short to stress the small things. You need to let go, the happier you will be. Yeah, so I think the way that you are treated by people is how you allow them to treat you. And if you allow them to be cruel to you, sorry, my son is like just attacking me here. If you allow them to be cruel and to continue the kind of hatred, you entertain that and you give them a rise, a reaction. You know, that's only going to feel, feel that. They're only going to then want to continue and do more and more. And, you know, it might start as something very trivial, but can actually build up to a really, really big event. Um, and I think that's where it becomes dangerous, you know. When does the hatred stop? When do you switch off and say, enough is enough? Um, and, you know, do you want to be the person that feels like, you know, you've, you've ended that, you've caused that kind of truce almost to say that you agree to disagree? Um, and at what point do you do that? Do you let it build up and then you say, actually, it's got too much? Or do you stamp it out before it even begins? Oh, like, shoot. you know, the first time that somebody... Oh, I'm going to choop. You're going to do what? Choop on you. What's a choop? I'm going to get chooped on. I'm going to get chooped on. What is this? What is this? Oh, my God, look at his crazy face. Gabriel, no, you're going to hurt yourself. Gabriel, calm. Try to open up. Listen, you will hurt yourself. Calm, calm. Will you let mummy have two minutes, please? No. No, no, you can't have two minutes. <laughs> uh, Phil says hi. Gabriel, Phil says hi. Say hi, Phil. Hi, Phil. <laughs> oh, I mean, kisses now. <laughs> can't breathe. Oh, my goodness, there's a big kiss. <laughs> Ashley says, how are you doing? Just to say, it's a wrap with the film. It was good working with you, and I hope to work with you again. Yay, hi, Ashley. Really good, thanks. Just get splattered by my son. Oh, It was lovely to work with you all. I'm so hyped. Dead Ringer comes out spring 2018, guys, in cinemas. Check it out. Amazing. Um, Alwyn says, the action of hurting or harming someone in return for an injury or wrong suffered at their hands. Yeah, so, you know, I can understand, like, if you've been upset by something if you've been injured if you've been like the victim of something you then think this is unfair like i shouldn't be treated this way it shouldn't be allowed i've been wronged so it is kind of human instinct that you then want to to kind of be to feel better and to say um you know i need to make this even i need to show them that what they have done is wrong but revenge is not the way guys and that's one thing that i feel so strongly about to think that you know, if somebody is that evil and cruel and selfish in the first place to treat you that way, they are never going to be reasonable about anything. You know, they're not going to be on the same wavelength as you to say, like, you know, this has to stop. Enough is enough. They're only ever going to get worse. They're only ever going to lower the tone, lower the bar and, and be childish. And it's, it's not something that I would ever want to entertain. Um, Jaya says, where are you from? I'm London, England, my darlings. Robert says, send a kiss from Mexico. Ah, kiss. Quick, before another kiss gets me. It's a baby kiss. It's a baby kiss. Oh. Oh, goodness me. Look at all those cuddles. Look at all these lovely cuddles. And they're cute little face. 
Um, Alwyn says, inflict hurt or harm on someone for an injury or wrong doing to oneself. Um, I'll get revenge on the whole pack of you. Oh, yeah, that's the thing. It's always other people involved. So, you know, if you upset somebody or somebody upsets you, happy Friday, Sandy. Um, they'll then they'll tell people about it. So they'll say, you know, somebody has done something horrible to me. So their friends will then say, I don't like that person. Or their family will say, this isn't right. You know, and before you know it, be something that happened between two people ends up between 50 people or 100 people and then it ends up being like a, a whole event and full out war and that's how you know that is how countries go to war just two people disagree on something and then after that it, it turns into a massive event where everybody gets involved people that it's none of their business i'm trying to stop him from me guys he's trying to climb me like i'm a little tree and you're a monkey You've got mummy's hair, you've got mummy's hair, Gabriel. Ah, careful, please. Right, too much, too much, calm. Too much, Gabriel. Right, guys, I'm going to stand up now and hopefully my signal won't go because I'm just getting climbed like a monkey tree down here. Ow. Knees everywhere. I know you want to hug, but you're hurting me. Oh, God. Do you guys have boys? Are all boys like this or just my son? <laughs> thank you guys for all your love and lights and you see your comments coming across the screen um, and yeah I just wanted to talk about revenge today guys and basically my advice to anybody who is dealing with revenge is to um, is to tell people about it that are in a position of power so whether you're at school it's your teacher um, whether you're an adult careful please Gabriel don't make me choop choop what does choop mean? Please, Gabriel, you're hurting choop mummy. Choop means I'm going to be sick on you if you do that. He wants to be sick on me now, that's what it is. Please don't, don't jump on mummy, please. That's because you keep putting your arm in front of me. I'm my... stopping you from hitting me. I'm not. Calm. <laughs> right, mummy's standing up now. Thank you. Mummy's standing up. Gabriel gets down. Oh. Um, I just saw another comment that I'm going to read, guys. No. No. no, you can't keep hurting mummy. Oh, not on, nice. Yeah. Not nice, pudding. Not nice. No, my son is autistic, by the way, guys. If you're just signing in, and um, he gets very emotional. Ow. Calm. Mummy's just talking. One second. Um, so there was a comment that I wanted to read. Where is it? Dion says, revenge is nasty. I've seen it's happened to me for um, a long story. The fact is, I became the bigger person, moved up to a different level, and the mindset to life success. Yeah, absolutely. You have to, you have, to have that cut-off point. Oh, he's calm now. Jumping around these crazy cats. <laughs> These crazy cats. <laughs> Minnie's always so lovely and sensible. And Gabriel is such a psycho. It's trying to get me. It's trying to. No! He pulls my bra down. He pulls my trousers down. He's a sausage. Yes, but if you want to take control of a situation, you have to say, enough is enough. I'm going to be the bigger person and walk away. So if you are at school and you are a victim of bullying or revenge, I highly recommend you speak to an adult, speak to a parent, speak to a teacher. If you're at work, speak to a boss. If, you're, if you don't have a, a very understanding boss at work, then speak to a union. Um, and if you're an adult going about your daily life, speak to the police. It is harassment, it is bullying, and it should not be tolerated in 2017. It's something that we have to all be very vigilant on, that we need to say, just because you're not at school anymore, you're not a child anymore, doesn't mean that you can behave that way in the adult world. Because imagine if you, know, you, you don't stop it here, it will only go here, 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 and before you know it, it becomes a massive, massive thing. He now has his feet in places that they shouldn't be. <laughs> places that they should not be, my darlings. So, yes, my advice is seek help and support. There are always people out there that are willing to help you and always people that should listen to you. Never deal with something like that on your own. Um, and I think, you know, take on board that whenever you interact with somebody in such a negative way, it's bringing negativity yeah. into your life. And the only way that you can ever be truly happy is to be at peace and to be kind to others and treat those how you'd want to be treated. Um, so guys, it's just a very quick video. As you can see, it's very hectic here right now. Um, this little dinosaur is riding towards me like a T-Rex. <laughs> it's gone that way. It's gone that way. Crazy summer holiday. <laughs> trying to keep the kids entertained we're now off to my mum's i wish you all a very very wonderful week uh it's friday the weekend is upon us what do you have planned very exciting times um these two little giggles millie say goodbye bye gabriel say goodbye goodbye bye, -bye. bye, -bye. he says um and i will see you all soon take care have a lovely day